Hey guys, we're going to do our day three of King David. All right, so let's review. All right, so after David had defeated Goliath, he became a very important person in Israel. The king during that time, King Saul, was oftentimes very grumpy and would ask David to come play his harp to calm him down. While he was doing this and while he was around the king, he had he had become best friends with the king's son, Jonathan. Jonathan and David became best friends. They promised that they would be best friends forever. One day, the prophet Samuel came to David and anointed his head with oil and told him that he would be the next king. When King Saul heard about David being anointed as the next king, he was so angry. He wanted his own son, Jonathan, to be king. But when Jonathan heard that David had been anointed to be king, he was so happy. He knew God had a plan for his friend David's life and that he would make a great king. He was happy for him. He wasn't upset or jealous. But King's, King Saul's heart was so mean that he decided to chase David away so that he could stop him from becoming king. So he chased after David and he, um, David had to run for his life in the wilderness. David had to run and hide from mean King Saul for years. David ended up having to live inside caves. He was so sad and lonely. One day while King Saul and Jonathan were out on the battlefield, they were killed. David was so sad when he heard that King Saul and Jonathan, his best friend, had died. He lost his best friend, and he was even sad for the king. Even though King Saul had been so terrible to David and chased him out of his country, he was so sad to hear that they had passed away. David was so sad, but God blessed him. He came out of the caves and returned to Israel, and he became the king because God had already chosen him to be the king. King David missed his friend Jonathan, though, so he asked all of his servants and his people, Is there anyone left in Jonathan's family? that I can bless. So tomorrow when we finish up our David story, we're going to um, talk about if we're going to find out if there was anybody left in David and Jonathan's family that David could bless.